Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Birdie here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so big news, guys. For the first time exclusive to this channel, we have an official apology video from Chuck Norris himself. So the background story for this apology is that in the 60s and 70s, Chuck Norris had gone around lying to people saying that he never trained with Bruce Lee and that Bruce Lee was never his teacher. And he wrote this letter that you see in the background here saying that he was ashamed. He literally writes that he is ashamed to have lied to people and that he basically, basically considers Bruce Lee to be his teacher, his friend. And he was really, really feeling bad that he had gone around lying to all these people. And in this video here, he admits finally that Bruce Lee and him trained together, they were equals, and that Bruce Lee would have been basically an MMA champion if he had competed in those days. So here is the official apology video. Here you go, guys. Well, we worked out in his backyard and he had a bag back there. So we did a lot of punching and a lot of kicking. And we did a lot of exercises, a lot of push-ups, a lot of sit-ups, a lot of sit-ups. But uh, the thing is, Bruce was a very rare type of individual. Exercise conditioning was his life. And uh, when I did the movie with him, you know, and doing that fight scene with him, just seeing how fast he was and what an incredible athlete he was, it was really an honor to be able to fight against him in this film. And, uh, but the thing is, is that our exercise routine lasted about three hours. And it, would, it consisted of push-ups, sit-ups, uh, kicking the bag, sparring. We'd spar what we, what we call attacking techniques where I'd, I'd attack him and he'd defend. Then he would attack me and I would defend. And uh, this went on for three years until he left for Hong Kong to, poo, to pursue his movie career, which I've already told you about. Uh, but no, the thing is, is that uh, we were respectful to each other as we as we worked out and sparred. No, uh, no, Bruce and I never fought, fought, you know, because he was he didn't have to go the competitive route. You know, Bruce was already a star, and he didn't have to become a fighter to develop that fame. I did. I had to become a fighter to develop the recognition that I got. Bruce didn't have to go that route. But I think if Bruce had. He, he would have done extremely well in the fighting realm, but uh, he didn't have to go that route. That's all wow, you know, and because uh, I'd never met him. I'd never met him. I'd seen him, you know, doing his stuff. And uh, anyway, we kind of nod, nodded each other, and then I, I, I fought and won the championship, and uh, Bruce Lee goes like this here. So I go down there and get off the, you know, and we start talking. And he says, uh, don't you live in LA? I says, yes. He says, I do too. So why don't we start training together? I said, okay. So Bruce and I worked out for two years together. He, uh, he taught me a lot of his, uh, his Chinese uh, techniques, and I showed him a lot of our, our techniques of kicks and all the stuff here. He believed in going to kick him below the waist. And I said, well, that's good, Bruce, except you should be able to kick anywhere. You should be able to put that foot anywhere. And so, you know, so we trained together for two years, and, and he got, as you can tell, he got really good at it. <laughs> and, uh, and anyway, after, uh, and then finally he gives me a call, and he says, I'm leaving for Hong Kong to do a movie. And, uh, and I said, oh, that's great. Uh, well, good luck. So I don't hear from Bruce for two years. And then out of the blue, he gives me a call. He says, I've done two movies in Hong Kong, and they're really successful. He says, I want to do a movie now with a fight scene that's never been done before, and I want you to be my opponent. I go, and I've never done anything like that. I said, uh, oh, you know, you know why? Because I'm the world champion? Is that yeah. it? <laughs> and I said, so uh, I said, well, who wins, Bruce? He said, <laughs> kidding. He said, I'm going to win. I'm the champ. <laughs> I'm the win. I'm the star. I said, oh, okay. So anyway, uh, so anyway Bruce and I, you know, 
did this big fight scene in, in Rome. And, and, uh, and uh, it was really, uh, you know, because Bruce and I worked out for two years together, so we knew each other very, very well. I knew everything that he wants to do, and he knows everything that I like to do. And so when we did the fight scene, we pretty much just put it together right there. And uh, anyway, so anyway, we did the fight scene, and and uh, and uh, after it was over, uh, you know, uh, I came, went back home. And then in 1972, uh, I get a call. Uh, Bruce is coming to L.A. to see his doctor, and he says, and uh, so he says, let's have lunch. So uh, we do. We have lunch. And uh, he said, he says, I'm going to see the doctor, and and because I've, I've got some problems, I'm, I'm getting dizzy and, and passing out, so I want to find out what it is. So anyway, so he goes to the doctor, does the whole thing. Anyway, we get, after he does, we get back together, and I said, how'd it go? And he says, well, the doctor says, you know, he's 32, same age, he's the same age as me. We we're both 32, and he says, the doctor says. I'm like an 18 year old kid, you know. I said, oh, that's great. And I said, did he tell you why you're falling and doing all the falling and all that stuff? He says, he doesn't know. He says, you know, it could just be anything. So anyway, he leaves for Hong Kong. And a few uh, months later, he passes away. And, uh, and I, I was shocked. Anyway, so anyway, when he went to, he went, they went to Seattle, you know, just laid there, and we all went up, me and a lot of friends that, uh, uh, Bruce's, went up there for the graduation, for the, when he died. And Linda, his wife, decided to move back to, uh, California, and he uh, found a home about, uh, maybe a half a block from my house, so I could spend time with Brandon, her, the, the boy. And I did, I spent a lot of time with him, you know, to, to tell him about his dad and, and, you know, and all this stuff here. And then, of course, he became a champion, I mean, a star himself. And then, fortunately, he wound up passing away. But the thing is that Bruce was an incredible guy, and, uh, and this is, you know, and this time I spent with him, going through this whole thing here, was something that I will never forget about. And so this is about, about Bruce Lee.